What's up, everybody? Thralls Metal here once again. I'm the Croc Mac. I'm Jamin John. And we have an album review for you, or rather an EP review. And yeah, it, it's a it's a band. We're going to struggle with the pronunciation once again, but we love this band, and uh, we definitely wanted to cover this one because, well, it's it's Undergang yep. with their new album. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> De Sue stayed uh, a four day herb. That was probably horrible, and we, we have lost every we, Danish fan ever. Yeah, we looked up the pronunciation, and it was it's so quick that uh, even the phonetic pronunciation didn't work out so well in our favor. So if you're Danish, sorry. Pretty much we're just telling you we're giant morons when it comes down to pronouncing anything other than English words, and we're not that great at that either. Fair. So this will be a struggle. But uh, I don't care because I really wanted to go over this one. This also comes out on the 1st of September on Dark Descent Records, or if you are across the pond, Miseko Un Ojo Records. Band formed in 2008 in Denmark. This is their fourth EP overall. They have five full lengths. We actually covered their last one. Oh, God, what the hell was the name of that one? Aldrig I Live It? Probably not. We might not be able to pronounce it, but we did love it. And it's just gross, old-school death metal, very swampy and disgusting, low gurgled vocals, very much in that demolished vein mm -hmm. of just, you know, frog burping and puking. And uh, we saw this EP was coming out and was like, you know, there's probably a good chance this is awesome. And admittedly, I have their recent split, actually just came out this year with Spectral Voice, and I still haven't gotten to that one yet because I'm a little <laughs> backed up. But we definitely wanted to cover this one. And uh, yeah, this is just, fucking awesome yeah this is just absolutely filthy like what 21 22 minutes of just pure unadulterated filth wastes no time yeah. whatsoever seven whoop ass amazingly heavy songs yeah the opening track do 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 dot i don't know it looks like dot it's the null set zero i don't know what all of the extra letters in their language you know, the noises they make, because they put like little umlauts and other symbols that I'm not familiar with on top of already confusing words. Yeah, the only Danish I'm overly familiar with is the pastry. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is also really good, too, though. Much like a pastry, it opens up with a drum turnover. Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. Into just a, a brutal, stompy riff. I mean, right out of the gate, it's bolt thrower. Yeah, albeit, like, decidedly more brutal. Mm -hmm. The production on this album is dense, thick. The guitars are the swampiest version of an HM2, like entombed and dismembered, mm -hmm. but add a layer of like autopsy filth on top of that just to make them sound even more gross. But man, this band's got riffs. There are riffs galore on here. And comparing it to the last album, this is maybe a little bit different in one sense versus the album. It's a little bit more, I wouldn't call it like technical, but more transition happy. More transition happy and a little bit more melody too. Like it, it's hooky, which I did not see coming at all. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the last one that I can't pronounce, I've already screwed up once. I'm not going to screw it up again. Uh, was, you know, groove laden, old school death metal. It kind of just relied on the swampy murkiness, all the old school tropes. This one definitely has that, but there's something maybe a little bit more... I don't know if refined or sophisticated is the right word. Yeah, I mean, they definitely put more thought into it the, because the, the transitions all rule. But it's like before each transition, they just get a little bit of buildup in them, like a little bit of tension right before it changes, and it always changes to something like completely different but still fits. A good example of that, and here's the part where the struggle comes back in because we actually have to say the names of the songs, which I wrote out phonetically, and I'm still confused. Uh, the second track, Milka Vil uh, Gimsiktik, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that song has some absolutely wild transitions from almost like death grind. Like you start off like uh, you know, a nasty autopsy song, almost going back to like Terrorizer, deep gurgled vocals, it's fast, aggressive, and then there's this hard shift towards death doom. Mm -hmm. But how they shift it, is awesome because they isolate the riff, they kind of play it up a little bit and sort of build tension and then go into this disgusting death doom breakdown that 
might be one of the filthiest moments on an already filthy EP. Reminded me a lot of Phobophilic and their use of, of doomy melodic riffs. And then as if that wasn't cool enough, the next track, and forgive me, Live, Lose, In, Pool, In, I, Ood, Skillser, I think that's how it is, uh, is a great tension building song. Tons of dynamic and two of the nastiest leads on the whole album. Yeah, actually the whole end of it, they kind of rock out this one breakdown and it is absolutely brutal as hell. And that is a cool thing I like about this album in terms of like categorizing it. You can just call it old school death metal and you would be right. Correct. There are elements of death doom, death grind. There are some brutal death riffs that kind of come in, like those big palm muted chugs you'd hear in a suffocation breakdown on dude, dod, whatever it is. You have pockets of groove everywhere. You have D beats, you know, like kind of punky, definitely Swedish death metal. There's even some fun off time rhythms in for a unse, something like that, maybe close. I don't know. Either we're speaking Danish or we're both having strokes right now. I, your pick. Trust me, I think all of our Danish viewers are going to believe we're having strokes because I'm sure we're butchering the shit out of this. It's a lovely language. I'm so glad you have so many letters in every word. I love all the symbols around them. Yes, I especially love the in for a... Hold on. <laughs> in for a unse when you have the, the thing for the temperature. Yeah. yeah the, the degree, the thing. The, the A has like a little, little round hat on it, like it's yeah. wearing a beanie hat. What are you guys doing with these letters, man? Seriously. But that song is actually the only song, too, that has something not musical. Um, they waste no time in this record but the Yellow Jackets, or the Hornets at the beginning of this Flies. track. Flies. I don't know. Something yep. flying. Bugs. And then you get that isolated drum and bass, and then that snarly fucking harmonized melody on top of it. Ugh. Very entertaining riffs in that song. I mean, very entertaining riffs across the board. Uh, what I really liked about this is, while I wouldn't call it like, you know, super technical, it's technical in the sense that it transitions a lot. Uh, kind of similar to a band like Undeath, where you mm -hmm. get these really fun transitions into really cool grooves. But it's also kind of the unpredictability of the album. Like, again, it has one centralized sound, but it's the fun stuff they kind of do within it. Like, it has weird transitions, kind of like Demolich, but they're a little bit more loose and fun and definitely not as weird. A fun example of that, and again, I'm gonna have to try to pronounce this one, and this pronunciation was weird, like when we put it in the, uh, you know, Google Translate, I feel like it kind of just gave up at the end. <laughs> uh, the song is Ms. Farvning, eh, and then it just kind of went, nah, at the end, like, nah, like it just, it just quit. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it, it's probably not even close. But that song has one of the most fun breakdowns on it, and it kind of comes out of nowhere. Like, it's this very interesting shift, and it's a, like a legit breakdown where they drop out stuff a lot. Like, you get like a really broken down riff. Yeah, like a start-stop riff, yeah. and then the isolated drums with that big old dinner bell ride on top of it, and it's really simple. It's just like, boom, ka. But the reverb on the snare is what sells it when they isolate it. It's, you know, boom, ka. Like, it's huge. It just adds something really fun to the song. And there are some, like, cool, like, Cannibal Corpse-style grooves where you get that dinner bell ride and it just kind of rocks out, like, oh, God, Mil Kavil Ginsek Dick. I probably fucked that up twice now. And the last track, Skeletus Ring, which is the only track in English, or at least with an English title, but it's a word I have legit never fucking seen, so props to them for finding an English word that we would probably just try to pronounce as a Danish word. Finding an English word that's just as confusing as the Danish we can't pronounce. Bravo, guys. <laughs> but they have these like fun kind of cannibal corpse style groups that are just fun to kind of settle in. And that was just kind of the fun thing about this. It is riffy, it is brutal, but it's also kind of fun and quirky. The vocals are absurdly low and gurgled. The opening gurgles on Track two, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Are awesome. You get a long, extended, kind of just gurgly puke, and it actually bookends. It closes the same way with that giant gurgle, but you also have like some layered vocals in there where they're all kind of grunting stuff that I don't understand anyway. Like it didn't matter if it was in English or Danish. I mean, I'm probably still gonna growl along with this in the car. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. kind of the best for us effect where, you know, doesn't really matter. I know they're talking about corpses and rotting flesh and all that shit, but I can't understand a lick of it. 
due to the language barrier and just because they sound like monsters. As far as gripes are concerned, personally, I don't really have any except for the fact it's only seven songs. Um, another gripe would be, I cannot pronounce these titles for the life of me. However, that doesn't downplay the fact that they're bad songs. They're not. But yeah, negatives? I, I just plain don't have any. Um, I mean, in terms of negatives, I, I have very few. Uh, like sometimes the transitions, you know, they transition out of stuff I would like to hear get played longer. Like there's some definite riffs and grooves that I was like, man, stick with that, like maybe another measure. And some of the shorter songs, while I like them, I don't know, they're kind of odd, especially Dustibit. We might be saying that one right. I think it's the shortest track on the album, and it has this really long, doomy buildup. Like, you're getting ready for, like, the slowest, gnarliest thing. And... That's true. Well, it kind of just goes into a fast, kind of grindy song, and then yeah, it kind of ends. None of it's really bad. It's just like, man, that is a long buildup for such a short song. But outside of that, uh, I, I dig the fuck out of this EP. Like, this is just absolutely awesome, grimy shit. So yeah, overall, I'm going to give this four and a half stars. And initially, it was like, dude, this better be awesome if I have to pronounce all this shit. <laughs> and it was. It was. It's absolutely killer. I, I don't really see uh, a True Blue weak track on here. Like, some of the shorter ones, again... They're short, you know, they, they kind of have some weird dynamics to them, but they are not bad. In fact, everything on here flows beautifully. The production's fucking great for this. It's gritty, it sounds swampy and dirty, but it also sounds well mixed. All the levels are really good. The vocals are appropriately gross and almost inhuman at times. This is just riff-driven, awesome death metal that has a lot of fun with you know the genre itself like there's a lot of cool transitions it's kind of over the top and kind of silly in a way but it's just disgusting and awesome <laughs> and yeah if you love shit like bull thrower autopsy for damn sure a little bit of demolich check this out check out all of undergang stuff i <laughs> own a bunch of their stuff and it's always a good time or Undergang. Is it Undergang? Or is it Undergang? Undergang? I don't know. Yeah, there's no umlauts. Yeah, there's no umlauts. Yeah. Uh, for me, too, it's a four and a half. This record whoops ass. Again, it may be a seven song EP, but every song brings something really awesome to the table, and it's chuggy and heavy and brutal and fun, and the transitions are neat. It's kind of like that caveman aesthetic, mm -hmm. but they're like smart caveman. Like they know how to like read, kind of. Not this language. No one can read this language except for Danish people. Yeah, yeah, right? And that was a thing, too. I was like, man, I hope some of these songs suck so I don't have to read the titles, but none of them do. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, we had to talk about all of them and read the titles. But anyway, yeah, if you like things like Bolt Thrower, Frozen Soul, Tribal Gaze, 200 Stab Wounds, Phobophilic, Mortician, Mutilatred, Autopsy, if you like all those things, you're probably really going to like this, Undeath. Forgot about Undeath. Oh, yeah, Undeath. Undeath, yeah. yep. But if you like all that, you're probably really going to like this. I definitely recommend giving this record a listen. And if you want to try to pronounce these titles, cool. Knock yourself Do out. Do it. Knock yourself out. But they're all a good time. So when you have to talk about this record, you're going to have to say, De souv, ste da, e for de oeuvre. If you're from Denmark, you can't. That's cheating. <laughs> right, right. Make a video of how these are pronounced just because I want to know. Because I don't think Google did it well either. Yeah, title it, this is for those morons on Thralls of Metal. <laughs> we'll, we'll find it. Yeah, we will. I'm sure there's a lot of hashtags with morons and Thralls of Metal in the same title. So, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all, all the, the time. time. We are also on Patreon. If you'd like to help us out there, there's a link down below to ThrallsMetal.com, which, again, is still under construction. But our Patreon link is on our channel. And, again, when the site shows back up, it will be loaded with shirts. And we're going to do a video showing them off and do a giveaway for them. And then last but not least, we've been promoting some shows in the area. Our hometown club, Frankie's, is back in action finally after four years of lying dormant. They got Revocation, Unearth, High Command, and Entheos to come play. 25 bucks, October 1st. Come out. Come out. Just fucking come out. It's our CBGBs. And we've, we've grown up in that venue. I've been to hundreds of shows there. Come out. Do it. And of course, thank you all so much for liking, subscribing, following, all that shit. Again, it's been amazing doing this, and it's going to be weird taking a break from this to go to full terror assault, but uh, 
I don't know, it's kind of overdue. Like, we could use a nice week off, and I believe Miller and Shred should take care of uh, at least some of the reviews for that week. But uh, if you see us at Full Terror Assault, if you're going there, come by. Say hi. Say hi. We're going to be taking in all the scenery, watching a shit ton of bands, and yeah, it's going to be a long drive. (laughs) <laughs> but it's going to be a lot of fun. I have, I have a good feeling about this one. But yeah, once again, thank you all, and we will catch you later.